This is calculator question number 32 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board is asking us about box plots, in particular the difference in the medians based on these box plots for both A and B. I'm going to take out a little more information than I actually need from here. I have both A, both B, and there's a five number summary for, for each with a minimum first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. And those are the five numbers indicated on the box plot. For boat A, it looks to me like the minimum value was 22. And for boat B, the minimum value was 18, where the minimum value is the smallest value observed in, in this case, the season. And the minimum value is indicated by the vertical bar at the end of what you sometimes call the whisker, the narrow line that comes out from the larger rectangle. The, and the minimum is the lowest value. The first quartile is the 25th percentile. One out of four catches will be smaller, three out of four will be larger. That's what they mean by quartile. It's the top of the bottom quarter, the bottom fourth. And for boat A, that looks like 25, 30, so this is probably 28. And for boat B, it's exactly 25. And that's the first quartile, the 25th percentile. The next number in our five number summary, the next point that's indicated on the box plot is this heavy vertical line in the middle of the rectangle. That is the median. That's what they're actually asking about. I just wanted to cover box plots in more detail. Besides, they're fun. So boat A, the median is exactly 35. And boat B, the median, is this heavy vertical line at 40. And right now, their question was, by how much does the median on boat B exceed the median on boat A? That would be 40 minus 35 is 5 is our answer this time. But it's worth looking at the rest of the box plot in preparation for the future. Quartile 3 is the upper end of this rectangle. For boat A, that looks like 40, 45, that's probably 43. And for boat B, the upper end of the rectangle is 45. And then the maximum is the upper end of the whisker, where they draw a vertical line at the end of the whisker. That's the largest catch of the season. And for boat A, that is half of 50, 55, 60, it's 55. And for boat B, 60, 65, 70, that's 65. If College Board is asking about the spread or variability, either the range, the difference between the maximum and the minimum, is the range which is, I hope, familiar, or something called the interquartile range. Interquartile range. which fortunately is abbreviated to IQR, is quartile 3 minus quartile 1 is 45 minus 25 is 20 for both B, or 43 minus 28 is 15 for both A. And interquartile range is a measure of spread, how spread out your distribution is, how variable the catches were on the two boats. And you see the rectangle for the middle half of the catches on boat A is narrower than on, on boat B. That's a visual representation of the interquartile range on boat A being 15, where the interquartile range on boat B is 20. College Board frequently asks about box plots. I haven't posted any vi videos on it yet because I didn't want to draw them until I had more practice with the videos, but I'll be making more of those and posting a link to a related playlist once I have those videos. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.